A sequence is a list of numbers that changes according to some sort of pattern. Now, each number is a sequence is called a term. For example, 7 in this case is the first term and 16 here is the fourth term. Now, if terms are next to each other, they are referred to as consecutive terms, like what we have here. So, if terms are next to each other, they are referred um, to as consecutive terms. Now, next, let's look at ways on how we can add, uh, define a sequence. Now, there are two ways on how you can define a sequence. The first one is the term to term rule, and we'll look at it in a minute. And the second one is a position to term rule. Now, a term to term, term rule gives you a rule for finding each of the term of a sequence from the previous terms. So basically what happens is you'll be given the first term and then you use the term to term rule to find um, the next terms. Now, in the first example, we have five and the term to term rule is add nine. So you're going to add nine to the previous terms to get the preceding term, to, to get the next terms. So um, five is the first term. So you have five and then the next term, it will be uh, 14 because if you add 9 to 5 you get 14 um, to get the next term you add 9 to 14 to get 23 and then you add 9 to 23 you have 32 you add 9 to 32 and you have 41 so that's how the term to term rule works In the next example we have negative 2 you subtract 5 so negative 2 minus 5 negative 7 um, so that's negative 7 minus 5 you have negative 12 minus 5 you have negative 17 minus 5 you have negative 22 and so on the next term to term rule is multiply by 2 and the first term is 3 so you start at 3 multiply by 2 you have 6 multiply by 2 you have 12 multiply by 2 you have 24 multiply by 2 you have 48 and so on and the last one, we have uh, 1 as the first term. The term to term rule is divided by 2. So you'll have a half, um, a quarter, an eighth, and then a sixteenth, and so on. Next, let's look at uh, position to term rule. Now, a position to term rule allows you to compute the value of any term in that sequence. So, suppose we, have, we are given a sequence below, and it's included in the table um, for better analysis. So, the sequence is 6, 12, 18, 24, and 30, and so on. Now, we know that the positions of these terms are, for example, 6, its position is the first, 12, its position is uh, second, um, third, fourth, here we have fifth and so on. So basically, any position in a sequence can be written as nth position, where n here is uh, a member of positive integers, one, two, three, four, five to infinity. Okay, and what n represents here is the position of the term. Okay, we have already discussed that. Anyway, so if you look at this sequence, by inspection, we can notice that it actually represents multiples of six. For example, six multiplied by one, you have six. Six multiplied by two, you have 12. Six multiplied by three, you have 18. Six multiplied by four, 24. So <clears throat> the nth term will be given by six, multiply by the position of that term. So here it will be 6n, yeah? Where n represents the position of the terms. And we can use that rule to compute any value 
um, the value of any term in this sequence. So what 6n represents here is what we call the position um, to term rule. Okay? Because it's a rule that we can use to find any, ter any term in this sequence. Yeah? So 6n is what's called the position to term rule. For example, if we wanted to find the 50th term, suppose you wanted to find the 50th term, yeah? Let me add, yeah? Suppose you want to find the 50th term. You can just use the position uh, to term rule. So the 50th term of this sequence will be... Um, is basically 6 multiplied by 50 because the position to term rule is 6 multiplied by n and n is 50 because you're trying to find the 50th term and that will be equal to 300. So the 50th term will be 300. Okay, so what is the what are the notations for position to term rules? Now the nth term, which represents the general term of a sequence, is written as u sub n. That's the notation that we use in math, okay? Um, there are other notations, but in this case, we'll be sticking to this one. Um, <clears throat> so if the nth term of any sequence is written as u sub n, then that means that the first term of any sequence will be written as u sub 1, so the first term will be written as u1. Um, the second term will be written as u2. The third term, u3. The fourth term, u4. The fifth term, u5. The sixth term, u6. And so on. Okay? These are the notations that we use for uh, position to term rules. Okay. So let's look at some examples. List the first five terms of the sequence in which um, the nth term or the position to term rule is given by 2n minus 3. So, the first term will be given by uh, 2 multiplied by 1 minus 3, which will be equal to negative 1. The second term will be 2 multiplied by 2 minus 3, which will be equal to 1. The third term will be 2 multiplied by 3 minus 3, which will be equal to 3. The fourth term will be 2 multiplied by 4 minus 3, which will be equal to 5. The fifth term will be 2 multiplied by 5 minus 3, which will be equal to 7. And so on. Yeah? And that's how you can use the position to term rule to produce uh, several terms in a sequence. Example 2, list the first five terms of the sequence in which the position to term rule or the nth term is given by 3 multiplied by 2 to the power n minus 1. Okay, so we can start by finding the first term. So the first term will be 3 multiplied by 2 to the power 1 minus 1, which is just 3 multiplied by 2 to the power 0, and that will be 3. The second term will be 3 multiplied by 2 to the power 1, which will be 6. Um, the third term will be 3 multiplied by 2 to the power 2, which will be equal to 3 multiplied by 4. That gives us 12. The fourth term will be 3 multiplied by 2 to the power 3, which is 3 multiplied by 27, which is 54. Um, Sorry, 3 multiplied by 8. Not 20. Yeah, this 3 multiplied by 8, which is 24. 
Um, the fifth term will be 3 multiplied by 2 to the power 4, which is 3 times 16, which is 48. Okay. So, which means that the first five terms of the sequence are, so, the first five terms of the sequence are, we have three, six, 12, 24, 48, and so on. Okay, so these are the first five terms of the sequence, and that's how you use the position to term rule to produce them.